and how's it going Adobe fam? It's Joshua Lufemi here, live from LA, founder of the YouTube channel of the same name. And over the next few tutorials, we're gonna be diving into the world of After Effects, where I'm gonna show you how to make this crazy dope piece. Guys, this new series of tutorials that you're gonna be watching is called Learn From The Pros for Adobe After Effects. Adobe After Effects is a digital effects, motion graphics, compositing software, often used right alongside of Adobe's flagship video editing software, Premiere Pro, to create some incredible works of visual art. It's not as hard as you may think. In this third video, I'm gonna actually show you a really dope masking trick based off of what we've learned so far. So first things first, we're actually gonna use the proxy video file that we made in the last tutorial to enable really fast playback when we're cutting stuff up and creating our masks. All right, guys, if you did not watch the previous tutorial, you have got to watch the previous tutorial because we got up to this point where I showed you how to do proxies. And now we have this footage within After Effects and we have the proxy enabled. We're going to actually enable that proxy right now, which is awesome. That's going to make this next process be extremely easy because we're going to be basically putting footage on top of each other, masking it out, doing all that stuff. Now, first things first, we have this footage in our timeline. I wanna, I wanna find a part of this footage where the street is completely clear with no cars. So I'm gonna click on this edge of the footage and I'm gonna cut it back. And I'm gonna see, this is pretty good. There's no cars here. Okay, then I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna do Alt, right bracket. It's gonna cut it from the other end. Right, left, black, right, left bracket would do the exact same thing. Um, and that's how you cut footage in After Effects. Okay, so I have a clear piece of footage right here. Let's just play through it, make sure it's clear, everything looks kosher. That's good, it's a good 10 seconds of clear footage, that's perfect. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna duplicate this footage. So I'm gonna do Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac. And I'm going to extend this footage out and I'm gonna find the car that I wanna duplicate. Where is that car? I actually already chose previously, I want it to be a white truck. I know exactly what it looks like. I'm gonna go find it. It's this truck right here. Okay, so we're going to cut the footage right before we see the truck. So I'm gonna cut it. Remember, to cut from the um, left side is Alt, left bracket. And to cut the, from the right side, we're gonna cut right after this truck leaves the frame. It's gonna be Alt, right bracket. There we go. Again, we've cut this footage. Everything looks amazing. And now, if you haven't noticed already, we have this footage of the empty street, and then we have this footage of the street with the truck going. We're gonna put this footage right on top of this footage, and we're gonna cut the truck out. Alrighty, I'm gonna scroll back with my mouse just so I can see a little bit more of the, the, <laughs> the frame, I guess. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go click on the pen tool. And what I can do is then I'm gonna start this process of masking out this truck. Now check this out. First things first, I'm gonna go and I'm going to click onto my window, composition window, and I'm gonna create a mask. What is a mask? A mask is basically, I'm cutting, I'm about to cut out this footage right here. So I'm cutting out this footage so that the only thing that of this top footage that's actually visible now is everything that's within this mask. You can see everything else because I have this bottom footage um, visible, but if I blind this footage, you can now see that we're only looking at this top footage. Again, because the bottom footage is blinded. Where the eye is clicked on is the only footage that we can see. We can only see now, zoom in. I just use the scroll on my mouse to zoom in and I'm gonna then, I'm gonna hold down my space bar to drag around. And now I'm going to go back to my, or my pen tools are still clicked on. Or actually I'm gonna go over to my selection tool now and I'm gonna start to control the edges of this mask. I'm gonna start to align the edges of the mask so that it's right along the edge of the car, or the truck, excuse me. There we go. And now I'm gonna do something called key framing. So key framing is changing an effect over the course of time. The effect that we're gonna change is the mask path of this mask. We wanna animate it so that it changes over the course of the clip so that this mask 
hugs onto the truck the entire time. So we're going to go and we're going to go into masks and then we're going to go into mask one and then we're going to keyframe the mask path. So to activate keyframes, you're going to click on the stopwatch. And then we're going to, uh, when we click on the stopwatch, the first keyframe is automatically made. We're going to go up a few frames and we're going to make our second keyframe. So making our second keyframe is very easy. We can just go in and adjust the keyframes like so. As you can see, let's zoom in on the timeline by uh, zooming in. You can either you can uh, use this. Uh, you can zoom in here at the bottom here, and you can zoom in on your timeline so that you can see the individual keyframes a little bit better. We're then going to adjust this mask again so that it aligns directly to the edge of the truck. Again, a little bit more of the truck is visible. I think we need to add some more keyframes. I want to add a little bit more keyframes to make this mask a little bit more accurate. It's very easy. Go back. It's very easy. Go back to the pen tool. All right. Go back to the selection tool now, and we can adjust those keyframes. Perfect. All right. So this is the animation. The mask is now going from this mask path that we created and animating to our next mask path. And I'm going to go in between and just adjust the keyframes so that they animate more accurately in between each of those previous keyframes that we made so that it sticks to the edge of the truck like we want it to. Pretty good so far. Now we're going to do that for the entire length of this clip. Alrighty, let's see how we are looking. It looks pretty good so far. Uh, what I want to do is I may want to go into mask feather and feather the edges of that mask just a tiny bit. Let's click off, see how this looks, zoom in. Let's feather a little bit more. It's feathered currently at 56 pixels. It's pretty good, let's feather a little bit more. Alrighty. We can of course adjust that later. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on the bottom footage and I'm gonna see how this looks. It looks pretty natural. We're now literally looking at two pieces of footage, guys. I want you to think about what we're looking at. We're looking at two pieces of footage. We're looking at the masked out car and then we're looking at the empty street footage. But because the background or the uh, you know, the, the empty street, does it change? You can then superimpose this footage of the car and the empty street footage and they look unified. This is called compositing footage together. Compositing is basically combining two different types of footage together to make one piece of footage. But guess what? We're not done there. We're going to do even more to this. We're going we're gonna to composite even more footage on top of each other. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna duplicate this top footage of the car, or the truck I mean. Control D is how you duplicate footage in After Effects. And I'm gonna move the footage a little bit forward. And this is what we're gonna have. We're gonna have one truck. All right, we're gonna now play through this footage and we have one truck and then we have our second truck that you can see. Let's stop and look at exactly what's happening. We basically have two trucks that we've masked out it's actually the same truck that we've masked out, but we duplicated the footage on top of each other and we've just delayed the second footage by a little bit so that it looks like we have two trucks that are literally driving behind each other. When in reality, it's just the same truck that we've masked out and duplicated and then we've backed the footage up a little bit. It's pretty cool. If you don't see the mask, um, click on this mask, a toggle mask and shape path visibly button and you can see, you will then see your pink mask. So you can now see the both, now you can see both clips. And guess what, we're gonna do the exact same thing again and again.
and again. Isn't that cool? Let's duplicate it. Again, control D to duplicate. And let's try to delay it by the same amount. It's pretty dope. Let's keep doing that. Control D, like I said before. Control D, Control D, Control D, and move. Control D, and move. Control D, and move. Let's watch this, see how this looks. Wow, isn't that crazy, guys? Isn't that crazy? Okay, the background footage ended, so now we can only see the uh, footage of the masked out trucks at the bottom. Let's see this. Let's extend the bottom, the background footage. Just duplicate, and then let's uh, basically just make the background footage continue, continue to continue again. So the fact the background footage just repeats itself. The only thing moving in the background footage is this tree. Um, other than that, everything's remaining the same, so you can't even tell that the background footage is continuous, continuing to loop. Now that is pretty cool. I'm gonna do this. I actually wanna, I wanna space the trucks out just a tad at the uh, tail end of this. There we go, a little bit spaced out, those last few trucks. Now guys, wasn't that amazing? I'd like for you guys to be stay tuned for the next tutorial where I teach you guys an even more in-depth explanation of keyframing. And I'm gonna show you how to use keyframes to add a little bit of camera motion, virtual camera motion to this otherwise static shot. Thanks so much for watching guys, and as always remember to keep it chill.